Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 942 of 1000 is Brandon Tarzis. Wow. Hey, Brandon. Hey, what's up, Morgan? <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. My pleasure. Uh, the pleasure is all mine, I assure you. <laughs> Our randomly generated suggestion is mm -hmm. diagnosis. Diagnosis. Arthur, I have fantastic news. Your, your test results are back, and uh, you're 100% healthy. That's that's great. Yeah. That's oh man, I I, I was so worried. I was so worried for you. I shouldn't. I can admit that now. I tried to keep a good game face. You know, good. Yeah. You know, doctor, not not making you worry, but uh, okay. you're fine. Yeah. I I mean I I had concerns just because they were my tests, but why yeah. why were you so worried, Doc? I mean, uh, well, honestly, I you know some of the stuff that was inconclusive. Um, <laughs> I can tell you this now, I guess. I thought you might have an inoperable brain tumor, um, but you don't. That's the great thing. It was hard to keep it a secret, you know, while we were waiting for the confirmation. But uh, keep it a secret. How long have you? How long did you keep my inoperable, my possible inoperable <sighs> brain tumor a secret? Well, this is uh, it's kind of it's such a relief to finally be able to talk about this. Uh, for the last year, uh, off and on, I have had a, a, a strong suspicion that you might have, but I didn't want to, you know, until the, the result because oh, there was this whole. I don't want to bore you with the, you know, the, the, but you know, the administrative bull, bull crap. But uh, there was a whole problem with there was. A strike with the the union that deals with it. Blah 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 blah. Long story short, now I know for sure you you're one hundred percent fine, and I can stop. You know, I was so nervous every time you'd come in because I'd be like, uh, he might be about to die, but uh, just, yeah. you know, I don't like nothing's wrong. So. I yeah I I mean I I I guess I appreciate your concern. I, I, I okay I see. I see what you like. You, there's probably some part of you that like feels like I should have told you that there was a chance that that was the case. So that, yeah, you know, so you absolutely. Prepare. Even if there was yeah. a possibility of it, but every time I right. came in, you just you said, "Hey, we're still running tests. Here's a sucker. Goodbye." Like yeah, well, I, you I, took the sucker, so you know I kept giving of course, you. Like, I mean, of course, I'm going to take the sucker. I would have much rather had the news that I possibly could have had a brain tumor, but you know what? Okay. I I trust you. I. You know, yeah. it, we're out of the woods now. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm healthy, yeah. right? I can go. You home. are healthy, and I, you know, and I, I can't expect you to know this, but just through sheer experience as a doctor, I've learned that one of the worst moments for anybody in an illness is the finding out that they might be sick or that they are sick. And so, the best thing I can do as a doctor is hide that information from them, unless it's 100%, or even sometimes. When it is 100% sure that someone is going to die shortly or has some sort of fatal disease, I'll still, as a doctor, the best thing I can do is just pretend they're going to be okay. Just they can enjoy their last, you know, few weeks on Earth. So I mean, it's a thing I do. I'm yeah. pretty good at it. If I do say so. <laughs> yeah, Doc, I, I guess you know, ignorance is bliss. I, uh, yeah, that's a great way of putting it. Yeah, but uh, you like know. sometimes I'll tell people that they're just like 100% healthy, and you know, and really. I know, you know, I'm dying inside because I know it's probably the last time I'm going to see them alive. That's so. that's terrible. That's yeah, that, that's that's a terrible thing to. It's not easy being do. a doctor. It's very rewarding, but it's also uh, challenging at times. <sighs> okay, but that's well. not the case with you. You are 100 percent healthy, my friend. Yeah, uh, you know, so go I, home, be with your family. You know, wrap up any things you wanted to wrap up, or you know, start new things. It's fully appropriate for you to start new things because you're you you say you say that, but I feel like that there could be like one more test or something else that you're not telling me. So I want you to be one hundred percent transparent with me right now. For oh, yeah, yeah. ignorance is bliss. Is there anything wrong with me, even still, that I need to be concerned about, or am I fine? Mm -hmm. Blackout. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Brandon. Hey, uh, very fun. Morning. Uh, is there anything I can plug for you in the description of the video? Uh, I guess just my Twitter at Brandon Tarzis, and um, coming back in January, I am referee Tarzan for UCBW Cage Match every Thursday night at the UCB Chelsea Theater. Great. Well, I'll put links to all of that in the video description. Awesome. Uh, thanks again for doing that, and have a great day.
My pleasure, and best of luck on the remaining 52, 58, Thanks. I should say. Uh, yeah, math is, yeah, 58. Thank you All very right. much. Yeah. Uh, take care. You too.